Hello, I am Dr. Imran Khan. Today we are going to discuss digital circuits design using MOSFETs. In our today's lecture, our focus is combinational logic circuits design only. MOSFET MOSFET stands for Metal Oxide Semiconductor Field Effect Transistor. MOSFETs are used extensively in digital integrated circuits due to its smaller size, gain, reliability, high speed and many other good characteristics. MOSFETs have two types, NMOS transistors or PMOS transistors. MOSFETs are voltage controlled switches. A MOSFET has four terminals, gate, source, drain and substrate or body terminal. So this is the simplest structure of an NMOS transistor. So here you can see this is the gate terminal, this is source terminal, this is drain terminal and this is a P type substrate and here you will see the body terminals. So this is the channel region. So this is the channel length from here to here. So gate is connected to this channel region via an insulator called SiO2 or silicon oxide. We apply the voltage at the gate terminal to control the current between drain and source terminals. So in today's lecture, we will focus on the design of combinational logic circuits only. MOSFETs. MOSFETs have, have two types, N-channel MOSFET and P-channel MOSFET. So N-channel MOSFET or N-MOS transistor, so you can see this is the gate terminal, uh, this is drain terminal and this is source terminal. So we apply voltage at the gate terminal to control the current between drain and source terminals. So this is the symbol of a PMOS transistor. So again this is gate terminal, this is drain terminal and this is source terminal. So the PMOS transistor is shown with the bubble sign here. So The gate of a MOS transistor controls the flow of current between drain and source. The MOS, MOS transistor can be viewed as a simple on-off switch. So let's discuss the operation of N MOS transistor first. When we apply low weight voltage on N MOS transistor, it will turn off. And when we will apply high gate voltage on N MOS transistor it will turn on. Similarly, in case of P MOS transistor, when we apply low gate voltage, it will turn on and when we will apply high gate voltage, it will turn off. So these are uh, the simplest operation of N MOS and P MOS transistors. So let's start the designing of combinational logic circuits with N MOS and P MOS transistors. So this is the standard uh, procedure for designing any combinational circuit. So here this is your output and these are the inputs. So this is PDN or pull down network and this is PUN or pull up network. So you will apply VTD here and ground here. So in the pull down network you will use only N MOS transistors and in the pull up network you will use only E MOS transistors. Pull up and pull down networks are dual logic networks. N MOS transistors in series or parallel connection. N MOS transistor turns on when we, when we apply high gate voltage. So uh, we want to implement this, this function A and B or A dot B. Okay. 
so it means that a and b are in series so here we can uh, uh, represent this uh, function in the form of n mos transistor we can represent it like this in the series combination so suppose if we have this function a or b so it means that a and b are now in parallel so here you can see a and b are now in parallel so n mos transistor pass a strong zero but weak one p mos transistors in series or parallel connections p mos transistor turns on when we apply low gate voltage so suppose we have this function we want to implement it so it means that now this a and b will come in series uh, with p mos transistor and we will put uh, this combination in the pull up network so similarly we want to implement this function a prime or b prime is equal to a b whole prime so you can use uh, de morgan's theorem to simplify this function so it means that now this a and b will come in parallel so p mos transistor pass a strong one but weak zero so as we already discussed in the pull up network we will use n mos transistors only uh, p mos transistors only in the pull up network so we will not use uh, n mos transistors in the pull up network so let's see so this is the p mos transistor when we apply this low gate voltage this p mos transistor will turn on and it will charge this output capacitor from 0 to vdd and suppose what will happen when we when we will uh, put an n mos transistor here in the pull up network then what will happen let's see so it will charge this output capacitor from 0 to vdd minus vtn so here vtn this is the threshold voltage so you will see uh, a drop of one threshold voltage here so that's why we use only p mos transistors in the pull up network so similarly in the pull down network we use n mos transistors so here you can see so when we will use this n mos transistor in the pull down network so it will easily discharge this output capacitor from vdd to zero through this way and when we when we will use this p mos transistor in the pull down network then what will happen it will discharge this output capacitor from vdd to vdd minus vtp so still this vtp will left here so that's why we use uh, n mos transistors in the pull down network only so you have to uh, keep in mind in the pull up network always you have to use p mos transistors and in the pull down network you always have to use n mos transistors okay okay let's start the practical design of uh, combinational logic circuits using n mos and p mos transistors so we have this function a dot b prime so it first of all we will uh, start with this pull down network now you can see a dot b we have this a dot b it means that a and b are in series here you can easily see a and b are in series so this is the output and because a and we will use this uh, n mos transistors in the pull down network and in the pull up network what will happen because this a and b are in series in uh, pull down network they will uh, come in parallel in the pull up network but with p mos transistors so this is the easiest way to construct uh, this 
uh, NAND gate. So here you will uh, apply this VDD and the ground. So this is the standard procedure of uh, uh, implementation of any uh, combinational logic circuit. So let's discuss the design of uh, uh, NOR gate. So we have uh, this function. This is the output function which we want to implement A plus B uh, this whole prime. So first of all we will start with this pull down network. Now you can see A and B are in parallel. So we will use N MOS transistors in parallel to implement this function in the pull down network and similarly in the pull up network uh, we will use P MOS transistors. But because uh, this N MOS transistors are in uh, parallel in the pull down network. The P MOS transistors will be in the series in pull up network. So here you can see, apply this VDD and here you can apply the ground. So four input NAND gate. So here this is our output terminal here. Okay. So now we have this A, B, C and D in series because we are implementing for input NAND gate. So in the pull down network, we used N MOS transistors only. So in series, four N MOS transistors in series. So similarly in the pull up network, we will use P MOS transistors, basically four P MOS transistors, but in parallel combination. So here you can put this VDD and the ground and this is your output terminal. So you can use uh, this standard procedure to implement any combinational logic circuit. So let's discuss a little complicated example. So suppose we have this function a plus b dot c whole prime. So now you can see a and b uh, they are in parallel and the combination of this A plus B is in series with this input C. So this is our output terminal and let's start this pull down network first. So A and B they are in parallel. So you can see A and B are in parallel and the C is in series with the combination of this A and plus B. So here you can see C is in series. So we used only N MOS transistors in pull down network. So similarly for the implementation of this uh, pull up network, we will use P MOS transistors only. And now you can see in the P uh, pull up network, A and B are in series and uh, uh, this C is in parallel with this, the combination A and B and here you can see apply this VDD and here you can apply the ground and here this is your output terminal. So uh, this is uh, the standard procedure of uh, implementation of any combinational logic circuit. So first uh, uh, let me repeat the step. First you have to uh, uh, focus on this function. This is the output function which you have to implement. So this is your output terminal. Okay. So you have to start first this pull down network. So this is your pull down network and you can implement this uh, combination uh, first A plus B. So this is A and B. Okay. A plus B. So these are in parallel and C is in series and similarly in the pull up network. So it's a dual. Uh, I mean it's complementary. So you can easily implement it. Okay. So let's discuss another example. A O I 2 2. It means and or invert 2 2 2 2 means it's uh, uh, 2 plus 2 uh, inputs means 4 inputs so here you can see this is the function uh, we have this uh, here you can see this is a b plus c d whole combination so this is called and or invert 2 2 okay so uh, again this is your uh, output terminal here and a, B are in series. First, we will uh, start designing of our pull down network. So, A and B are in series, and the combination of A and B is in parallel with this combination CD. So, 
again CD are in series and this is in parallel with this combination A and B. So this is your output terminal. So we used only N MOS transistors in designing pull down network. So similarly in case of pull up network now A and B will come in parallel. So similarly C and D will come in parallel and these two combination will be in series. So it's uh, 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 the complementary of this uh, uh, pull down network, this pull up network. So uh, we used uh, P MOS transistors only in the implementation of this pull up network. So here you can apply this VDD and this is your ground. So this is uh, uh, the standard procedure of uh, implementation of any uh, combinational logic circuits. So you can uh, easily design any combinational logic circuit by uh, keeping these uh, simplest uh, steps in mind. So uh, let's uh, start uh, implementation of this function D plus A dot B plus C uh, whole complement. Okay, so you can see <coughs> this is your output terminal, and uh, uh, we started uh, the pull down network first. So here you can see the pull down network. Uh, so here you can see this B plus C. Uh, they are in parallel. So B and C. Now you can see they are in parallel, and we used only N MOS transistor. So similarly. Uh, this A transistor is in series with this uh, B and C. So you can see this A transistor is in series and this whole com uh, uh, combination is in parallel with this D transistor. So you can see here we put the D transistor uh, in series. Uh, so we used only N MOS transistor in the pull uh, down network. So uh, let's start uh, implementation of pull up network. So here uh, okay so this is your d uh, it was uh, in parallel in the pull down network so but it will come in series in pull up network but with p mos transistors okay so this is your d and now you can see a and this combination <coughs> so now you can see uh, b and uh, c uh, they were uh, in parallel in the pull down network but now they are in series in the pull up network so similarly uh, this a was uh, in series with this combination in the pull down network now it will come in parallel with this combination in the pull up network and similarly this d is in uh, series with all this combination in the pull up network but it was uh, in parallel with the pull down network so we used only n mos transistor in the uh, pull down network and p mos transistors in the pull up network so here you can apply this pdd and here you can uh, apply this ground so this is uh, the standard uh, procedure of uh, implementation of any uh, complex uh, combinational logic circuit so this is your uh, assignment for today. So you can uh, try this assignment at home. So here we have this uh, two functions here. Okay. So uh, this uh, function number two is very simple. So you can just start uh, the implementation. But for uh, this uh, first function, you can take uh, this whole bar two times. Okay. So then you can solve the De Morgan's theorem to simplify this function and uh, then you can start the implementation so this was the lecture for today so if you have any question or any problem please feel free to contact me so this was uh, all for today thank you very much see you next time